right now. Today is the first day of the trial against former President Donald Trump in the case of the hush money payments to an adult film star. What to look out for as the jury is selected. Plus, inflation still on the rise. We'll show you those numbers and what that means for interest rates in the coming months. All right, after a beautiful day yesterday, a little chilly this morning with low 40s, but the sun will be warming us up again this afternoon. We'll track that temperature forecast coming up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us on a Monday morning. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for tuning in. Boy, it was nice out there. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to be outside all weekend long. Pretty much was. It was great. Got to the farmer's market for the first time. Felt like the whole city was down there. It was <laughs> buzzing. People were out and about. It was yeah. it was a lot of fun. It, it, was, it was fun to see the city alive over That's the right. weekend. Got a little bit more of that nice weather to hanging around this morning, Kelly Slifka. Yeah, it looks like uh, today's going to be another really nice, beautiful day. Maybe not the low 80s that we saw yesterday, but likely to get in the low 70s this afternoon. We do have clear skies right now across southern Wisconsin. Just a few high, thin clouds off to the west, but that is about it. Otherwise, another beautiful day with mostly sunny skies, low 70s. That's out ahead of a storm system that will bring us some showers and eventually some storms, mainly tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Tomorrow morning, I think it'll be quiet. It really won't be until we get to the mid-afternoon hours. And then it will be turning cooler once we get done with the rain toward the end of the week going into next weekend. Won't be as warm as what we saw this past weekend. 40 in Madison, we're down to 40 in Cottage Grove, 39 in Windsor, Middleton at 39 as well. So still need that a jacket this morning. Temperatures in the 40s. We should be climbing through the mid 60s here uh, at the noon hour, topping out in the low 70s, most areas. So another beautiful afternoon for us. Now we, that will change. We do have some rain. We need still need some rain here this time of the year here in Wisconsin. We do have a pretty good shot, especially later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and another shot for some showers on Thursday. After that, looks pretty dry for the weekend. So uh, headed out to the uh, bus stop this morning. I need the jacket, but probably be able to shed the jacket this afternoon as temperatures climb in the low 70s. More than that severe weather potential coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, the first criminal trial for former President Donald Trump begins today in Manhattan with jury selection. This is a sketch of Trump and his legal team in the courtroom just under a month ago when the trial date was finalized. The former president will be in court every day as he faces dozens of counts of falsifying business records including claims that he tried to hide alleged hush money payments to an adult film star. CBS News' Naomi Ruckham has more on what to expect from outside of the courthouse today in Manhattan. When I walk into that courtroom, I know I will have the love of 200 million Americans behind me. Today, Donald Trump becomes the first former U.S. president to face trial in a criminal case in Manhattan. Have a good time watching. Trump faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business records, including claims that he covered up $130,000 in hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels through his former fixer Michael Cohen in order to hide an alleged previous relationship with Daniels ahead of the 2016 presidential election. We cannot and will not normalize serious criminal conduct. Trump denies the encounter and has pleaded not guilty to the charges. Presiding Judge Juan Mershon has placed a gag order on Trump after he's made public comments bashing the judge, prosecutors and Cohen. I will be forced to sit fully gagged. I'm not allowed to talk. First up today is jury selection. Legal experts say it could take weeks to cut a pool of hundreds of potential jurors down to just 12 plus alternates. Ultimately, there is no one who is going to enter that courthouse who doesn't have an opinion about Donald Trump. And that's why some legal experts say that Trump's lawyers are likely to file a motion to try to move the trial to another city. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. Meantime, CBS legal analyst Ricky Kleiman warns that both sides will be on the lookout for so-called stealth jurors who may lie to get onto the jury. Potential jurors must answer a lengthy questionnaire of 42 questions asking things like, if they've ever attended a Trump rally or if they followed the former president on social media. Well, today's the day to submit your individual income tax returns if you haven't done so. Remember, if you don't file on time, you could face a penalty of up to 25%. It's possible to request an automatic six-month extension for free through an IRS partner on the agency's website. The deadline for that is also today. 
It involves paying estimated taxes as well. Those who want to file before midnight tonight can use IRS Direct File, which is an IRS trusted partner or a paid service. Well, inflation continues to climb on top of already high prices. As according to a new government report, AAA says national gas prices are up 22 cents in the last month. And while price hikes on groceries may have slowed down, the rise compared to 2019 is over 30%. It's all part of a jump in overall prices of 3.5% in March, up from 3.2% in February. The Federal Reserve increased interest rates over the past two years to slow the economy and lower inflation, right? So economists now believe that if prices drop this year, uh, the Fed could start cutting rates this summer. But even that now is changing. A rate drop, a cut, is certainly off the table for the May meeting, probably the June meeting. I'm guessing perhaps the July meeting, unless things really improve. Schlesinger says many experts are now forecasting the first cut may not come until September. With the 2024 general election campaign for president in full swing, President Joe Biden is looking to boost his appeal among younger voters. This Supreme Court struck down his first plan to cancel student debt last year, but the president is persisting. He announced his newest debt cancellation plan a week ago at an appearance at Madison College. Later that week, Biden announced new debt relief under existing programs to hundreds of thousands of borrowers, including close to 4,000 people here in Wisconsin. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona joined for the record this weekend to discuss this latest debt relief plan. And think about what that does for the local economy. It gives those people an opportunity to go back and either upgrade in their homes or, or, or just contribute to their local economy instead of paying for debt that they might have taken out over 20 years ago or debt that they've taken and chose public service. Republicans, including several from Wisconsin, have criticized the plan, saying it would unfairly punish those who have chosen not to attend college. And students aren't the only ones potentially receiving a financial boost from the federal government. Nine technical colleges throughout Wisconsin are receiving $5.7 million grant from the U.S. Department of Labor. One of those schools is Western Technical College in La Crosse. Just under half of that will go towards their manufacturing programs. The grant is focused on creating short-term credentials, educational pathways which, are, which require less than two years of study. What we're trying to do is two things. We're trying to create pathways for students to come into our programming, get one or two short-term credentials, and be able to enter the workforce and dive right into the work. Wallace hopes the grant will impact both staff and students at the school. All right, a beautiful uh, weekend, and the uh, beautiful weather will continue today. It's a little chilly this morning, but we will be warming up. We're tracking some storms tomorrow. We'll have the first warm forecast coming up. Also ahead, it's the final day of the regular season in the NBA. Find out how the Bucks did against the Magic and where they'll be at in the playoffs. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Because we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, you can get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota Camry. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. style chicken salad wrap from Subway, this is how you do it. Savory chicken, crisp veggies, all wrapped up. These wraps are amazing. People can hear my thoughts. That's a problem. Stay fresh out there with all new wraps from Subway. Liberty Mutual customized my car insurance and I saved hundreds. That's great. I know, I've been telling everyone. Liberty. <gasps> Liberty. <laughs> how many people did you tell? Only pay for what you need. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Liberty. It's replacement window season. 
Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two Champion windows, get, get two, two free? free? I guess that means if you buy four, you get, you get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy 10, get, get 10, 10 free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Check this out. The newest fantasy game from DraftKings. Just pick between two and six players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stat. They compete against others for cash prizes. It's that simple. Okay, let's try it. Do you want more Kevin Hart or less Kevin Hart now? No, don't answer that. Download the Pick 6 app today and score up to $200 back in Pick 6 credits if you don't win your first pick set. The crown is yours. What? Best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk, institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. You can blame natural disasters, inflation, and where you live, but chances are you're probably paying more for home insurance these days. In some cases, though, maybe a lot more. The good news is that the money-saving experts at Consumer Reports found ways to trim those rising premiums for significant savings. Start by shopping around. Consider a local independent agent or broker who sells policies from several insurance companies. They might also recommend policy add-ons to help your coverage keep up with inflation, which is important when you file a claim. While you're at it, bundle coverage. Purchasing your homeowners and auto insurance from the same company can provide savings of up to 30% overall. Keep your deductible high. Higher deductibles mean lower premiums. Going to a $1,000 deductible from $500 might shave your premium by 25%. And do some home upgrades. First, look up. The age of your roof matters. If your roof is old, your insurer may charge you up to 15% more. So, get ahead of the storm and replace your roof. Same goes for older plumbing. Replace it. By the way, a home security system and gas and water leak detectors could also save you some money. Clean up your credit. Like it or not, most insurers can use what's called a credit-based insurance score. They can check your score often and use it in pricing premiums. Finally, know this about pets, pools, and other pastimes. Some insurers say the risk of dog bites and liability lawsuits is greater with certain breeds. You might be denied or have to pay more. Trampolines and pools are safety risks too, and if you're a smoker, that could be a fire risk. Also, report the truth. Not divulging honest information could lead to dropping coverage if your insurer learns about it later after an accident. Consumer Reports also says to be cautious about how often you make a claim. One every few years shouldn't be a big deal, but three claims in two years might raise your rates or even lead to dropped coverage. Also, listing your belongings can make a big difference in how much your homeowner's insurance will pay. And this week on News 3 Now This Morning, we're giving away tickets to the Midwest Horse Fair. Every day this week, someone out there is going to win a four-pack of tickets to the fair. It's at the Alliant Energy Center, of course, from the 19th to the 21st. The ticket package is valued at almost 600 bucks to enter the giveaway for the 2024 Midwest Horse Fair. Log on to channel3000.com. Slash contest. All right, Kelly Slip goes outside on the weather patio. How's it feeling out there, Kelly? Well, it is a little chilly this morning. It's hard to believe that we were in the lower 80s yesterday. We're starting out closer to 40 this morning, but uh, we're going to see another nice day. The uh, sun is going to warm us up. Maybe not the low 80s, but can count on temperatures near 70 today with mild temperatures continuing for one more day. Now, tomorrow is going to start to see a shift in our weather pattern. Have a storm moving in from the west. That'll fire up some showers and even some stronger storms developing later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening evening and then once all the storm uh, moves on to the east that'll drag some cooler air 
our way going into the later part of the week into the weekend with temperatures in the lower 50s. So temperatures are starting out in the 40s this morning as mentioned, but now that the sun is coming up, we will be warming up fairly nicely through the 60s. Should be tapping out in the low 70s later today. Just a few high thin cirrus clouds expected. So another beautiful afternoon for us with light winds. Here's that storm that we're talking about. It's still developing, still trying to organize. They typically organize right over the Rockies. Should gather strength as it moves through the plains and fire up some storms, mainly across the plains. These severe weather risk right now, the strongest risk is that enhanced risk, that brown shading from Nebraska down into Kansas. Now that's today. Now tomorrow that shifts down to the east, but it looks like the, the biggest threat for severe weather is going to stay to our south in Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri. But you notice that yellow shading, that slight risk of severe weather on a scale of one to five, two does extend into southern Wisconsin, just south of Madison, Platteville, over toward Monroe and Janesville. So we've got this mild air in place, the storm system coming in from the west, that's going to slam in to some of the, and bring some moisture with it. And that's what's going to create that uh, strong to a severe weather outbreak tomorrow, especially areas to the south. And then we'll start to see some cooler air wrap in for the end of the week going into the upcoming weekend. Actually, temperatures below average for a change. Now, today we will be well above average as we head into the lower 70s. Winds will be out of the north. Northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. First warning alert day tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night because of the threat for severe weather. This is not going to be a, a major outbreak, it doesn't look like, but there could be some isolated cells that do produce some large hail and damaging winds. Can't rule out an isolated a tornado as well. We'll track this as we go through mainly tomorrow afternoon, mainly three, four o'clock. Some of these starting to spread into southwestern Wisconsin, continuing to move on to the east and affecting all of the Badger State going into tomorrow. Uh, and that will be with us even into a Wednesday. I don't think we'll see severe weather, but still some chances of rain by Wednesday, even into Thursday. 40 right now in Madison, 39 in Watertown, 45 in Janesville. First warm forecast, 71 today. Enjoy the sun because tomorrow a lot more cloud cover with some storms developing tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Still a chance for some showers and storms Wednesday, even showers on Thursday. And you'll see that cooler weather by the end of the weekend of the weekend. The Bucks came into the final day of the NBA regular season Sunday with the chance to secure the second seed in the playoffs. To get there, though, they'd have to beat the Magic in Orlando. Dame Lillard back in action after missing a few games. Bucks lead early, 18-14 in the first. Dame here is going to drive. He'll miss, but Brooke Lopez is there for the putback dunk. Then later in the second, Bucks already down nine. Big swing here. Chris Middleton can't connect. Chris Lopez, he's there again for the putback. In the end, all magic in this one. They pull away. There's too much for the Bucks to handle. They went 113 to 88. Well, that's the tale of two seasons here for the Bucs. They started 30 and 13, then made that head coaching change. Adrian Griffin out, Doc Rivers in. And since then, they've gone 19 and 20. They finished 49 and 33. They'll enter the postseason as a three seed now and face the Pacers in a rematch of the in-season tournaments. He's semifinal. Well, the Brewers are 10 and 3 and currently on a four-game winning streak, wrapping up their series in Baltimore looking to keep things rolling. In the first inning, the Brew Crew look like they'll do just that. William Contreras at bat here, and you know how Willie uh, does it there. He goes deep to center field, hits a solo dinger where the kids can't get to it. He's on a 10-game hitting streak. The Brewers lead here to the top of the seventh now. It's tied at three until Blake Perkins tallies a homer of his own. The Brewers pull ahead again, but in the end, the Orioles rally at home to take the win finishes this one they win six to four we now head to the links for the golf event of the year of course the masters number one golfer in the world scotty scheffler would walk away with his second green jacket in his career winning by four strokes he joins pretty elite company here for multi-time winners scheffler has been ranked the world's number one golfer for 80 weeks now yeah. was a lot of fun to watch Scotty just a machine on the back nine yesterday um, congratulations to him also about to be a father that's any right. day now yeah there was uh, some concern he might not be able to finish <laughs> right. out the tournament that's right yeah, he made a commitment to his family that if uh, his wife went into labor that he was gonna be he there was and gonna he would leave, pull out yeah. of the tournament well but look at that he quite gets, a week <laughs> he gets his cake and he gets to eat it too that's great. Down. all right uh, game of golf brings people together. The Masters is no exception. Our Andrew Branster shares with us how golf and the Masters did just that for one area father and daughter. 
When it comes to the Masters, nothing quite compares. Anyone who has ever golfed dreams of playing at Augusta National, and for Beloit's Tatum Oswald, playing on golf's grandest stage was only a matter of time for the 11-year-old. It started as bonding. Tim Oswald wanted to share the game he loves with his daughter. We just went like every day and I just started to really, really like it. But this year, something changed. It wasn't just bonding, it was competition. Once she beat me one time, she's beat me a few times now, so uh, it's a lot of fun now to go out and play with her because it's very competitive. And Tatum realized it's not just her dad that she can beat. We both want to win. Uh, I don't let her win, uh, but she's she's got me a few times now. After all, she's not your average 11-year-old golfer. 56, I think. Tatum hit the links with the best of the best in the Midwest drive, chip, and putt competition. They went down to the last wire because I was the second to last person to go off. Where she chipped her way to the Masters. Very exciting to know that I won and I'm going to Augusta National. An experience she plans on using to further her game. I would love to play golf in college, you know. I would like to follow in Izzy Sticker's footsteps and, you know, win some state championships like she has and go on to play at Wisconsin. And, and if I'm good enough playing the LPGA, that would be the main goal. One shot at a time. Tatum got Augusta National warmed up for the Masters last weekend, finishing third in the country in her age group, and something tells me it's not the last time we'll see her on the course. Awesome, what a great Thank story you. there. Yeah, great swing. Very cool. Still out this morning, we got some restaurant discounts here on Tax Day. Uh, in our next half hour, you'll hear the stunning testimony from the Albion family whose own home turned into the site of an overnight armed standoff. As we had a break, here's a look at gas prices. We'll be right back. Susan Simon, News 3 Now at 4 and 5, weekdays moving forward. Get a great deal and do a great deal of good when you shop at Habitat Restore. From furniture and decor to appliances and building materials, we've got everything you need for your next project. Shop our convenient east and west locations today. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Shop family-owned Brothers Main for our large selection, low-priced deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Main. Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Are you suffering with neck pain, back pain, or sciatica due to disc-related conditions? You may have tried drugs, spinal injections, or physical therapy just to find out it didn't help. You're not alone. The problem is that some of those treatments focus on symptom relief, but may not address the underlying disc problem. As a result of injury or overuse, the discs may bulge, herniate, or degenerate over time. Our therapies are highly successful and reduce pain associated with those conditions and may help you avoid neck or back surgery. At Midwest Spine and Nerve Center, we'll design a treatment program using the latest in pain relieving therapies, including non-surgical spine decompression, Pro Adjuster 360 computerized technology, laser therapy, and more. Visit our website or call to schedule a complimentary consultation. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint. You're driving along, then it happens. You get injured in a car crash. After your accident, an insurance adjuster may try to get a recorded statement over the phone or have you sign documents. Don't say or sign anything. Call us first. We'll help get you the money 
you deserve. After an accident, don't say anything and don't sign anything until you talk to Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. We're back. We want to congratulate our very own Josh Breiner. Woohoo! And his new husband, Derek. That's right. Josh got married over the weekend down in Mexico. A little destination wedding. Absolutely. Not too shabby right on the beach right there uh, down in Mexico. Like they had some beautiful weather too. Yeah. To help them celebrate the big day. Leah Linscheid officiated the wedding as well, so a little reunion there on the beach. Uh, we want to wish Josh and Derek the absolute best in this new chapter. It looked like a beautiful weekend. I'm sure it was a lot of fun. So uh, we're wishing them the best as they enjoy this week yeah. here down in Mexico. Josh will be back uh, next week. That's right. Congratulations, guys. It's beautiful. All right, Shane, what are we talking about today? All right, several companies are offering taxpayers a break to mark today's deadline to oh, file yeah. your income taxes. Yes, this is another reminder if you haven't done so just yet. Krispy Kreme customers, though, they can buy a dozen original glazed donuts. You can get a second dozen for just the price of your state's sales tax. Okay, California Pizza Kitchen is offering diners 10 bucks off for a $40 purchase. And Grubhub is offering the first 1,000 customers who use the code tax break 15 bucks off deliveries totaling $25 or more. So maybe while you're home finishing up your taxes this afternoon, you can get your lunch Boy. with a discount. Well, I'm feeling for you if you haven't finished your if you haven't if you're still working on them yeah. today you're probably pretty stressed. This, this is a this is a rough day. Lock that's in a, a and get it day. done. You've right. got time still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and good luck to everybody out there. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Kelly Slifka has got to look at. Your bus stop forecast. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, it's going to be hard to be out there doing the uh, taxes today <laughs> with the beautiful weather we've got again this afternoon. Temperatures so. in the lower 70s headed out to the bus stop. It's a little chilly this morning, but today uh, looking great. Tomorrow we do have some storms rolling in. Alert day because of the severe weather threat later in the afternoon into the evening. All right, we'll get into it when we come back. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It took 138 iterations to refine the TIG 1 chassis, but it also took 189 pizzas and 52 all-nighters. The meticulously refined TIG 1. Get 0% APR financing or a $2,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 TIG 1 during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary sales event. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best-in-class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. During Chevy truck season, get 0.9% financing on all 2023 and 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or qualified lessees can get this Silverado for $4.99 a month. Stanley Steamer is proud to be the leader in deep cleaning, cleaning over 1 million homes and businesses across America every year using powerful equipment custom built by us. We'll remove the buildup of dirt, dust, allergens, grime, and contaminants seen and unseen from your home and business. America's professional deep cleaner for over 75 years. It's not clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home. Are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. It's like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. So switch to T-Mobile now and get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. It's better over here. 
take pride in your lawn. That's why Blaine's Farm and Fleet has everything you need to help it reach its full potential. Stay ahead of crabgrass with a state crabgrass preventer plus lawn fertilizer for strong, healthy turf. Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer protects your lawn from crabgrass and other invasive weeds. Plus, get thick green grass with Scott's Turf Builder Triple Action. It kills crabgrass and other tough weeds while feeding your lawn for up to four months. That's genuine value from Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Bet you didn't see that. But if you were an Atlas and could detect things in 0.02 seconds, you would have. The Atlas with Front Assist. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. This morning we're hearing directly from a family whose home was barricaded by a suspect. How you can help them recover. Plus, Wisconsin's Democratic Lieutenant Governor responding to the GOP's changing stance on abortion. And outside this morning as the sun comes up, looks like we'll have another beautiful day in Madison, Kelly. Yeah, we are looking at more beautiful weather today. We got the sun coming up already this morning. Talking about some storms headed our way tomorrow. We'll track it for you coming up. Hey, good Monday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. Hope you got your coffee, you're settled in. Going to enjoy this uh, really beautiful day on tap. It was a great weekend. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that. Kelly Slipka is telling us what we can expect today and uh, look at some of that rain in the forecast. Yeah, 82 yesterday. So Hello. Yeah, feeling like June uh, across southern Wisconsin. Just a beautiful afternoon. All the uh, sunshine out there, fairly light winds. Just a beautiful day. Uh, maybe not that warm today, but we still are likely to hit the uh, lower 70s this afternoon, so it should be another nice day. And really, we've got clear skies. You can see a few high, thin, cirrus clouds possibly from time to time this afternoon, but that should be about it. As we'll head into the uh, low 70s this afternoon, tomorrow, though, kind of a sign of things changing at this time of the year, April. We are looking at some storms to roll on in, uh, even though a severe weather threat. We'll talk more about that coming up. It will be turning cooler by the end of the week once the uh, rain is done with. 40 in Madison, so it is a little chilly. Need the uh, jacket this morning. 40 in Middleton, 42 in Verona, but the uh, sunshine will warm us up fairly quickly through the 40s, 50s, even into the mid 60s here at the uh, noon hour. Should be tapping out in the low 70s today. Another beautiful afternoon to get out and enjoy it because we got some changes coming our way. Some rain will ramp up tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening before starting to taper off. But we'll have still shower chances Wednesday and then again on Thursday. By the weekend, we'll see that cooler weather, but also some dry weather by the weekend as well. 40 right now with the calm winds at the airport, 50s, 60s. Just another beautiful day with north winds up there at 5 to 10 miles an hour. More than that severe weather potential coming our way tomorrow with the first warm alert day coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. We begin this half hour with continuing coverage of the standoff in Albion. This was the scene on Ramsey Road Wednesday night, the climax of a trail of violence that began with a murder in Iowa. Now we're hearing from the Albion family whose home was barricaded on Ramsey Road. Our Braden Ross reports. Natasha Iverson and her family have spent years on this quiet country road here in Albion. They have a home, a small business here. But last week, the place that was always their safe space became a crime scene. This is the Ramsey Road Natasha Iverson is used to. But Wednesday night, a phone call from her fiance, Chad, changed everything. The phone call probably changed the whole ending of the story. On his way home that night, he found a state patrol officer blocking his way. He's screaming at me, and uh, I can't probably say what I said to the guy, but I told him to shut up and tell me what the is going on. And that's when he screamed, there's an active shooter on Washington Road. Chad immediately called Natasha. She was home with their two-year-old son and her 16-year-old daughter. No idea of the chaos unfolding just outside her home. I said, just get the doors locked and and on hide. I called my daughter up and I told her to uh, run up, take your brother upstairs and lock yourself in a room. That's when I just went down to the patio door with my dogs and there, you know, you move the curtain and there he was. She was face to face with a nightmare. I did not see his face, nothing, just his legs and his gun. For 30 harrowing minutes, Natasha and her kids waited to be rescued from the home while Grunky was downstairs, firing at random intervals. Uh, it's only they're trying to clear a house right now uh, on Ramsey Road. That was the hardest wait, I think, especially for my daughter. I mean, it was for me too, but you have to be a mom too. 
Eventually, Dane County Sheriff's deputies were able to get them out. They had to jump from a second-story window. He just kind of fell down, but he caught. It was must have been a tall man. I remember his face. I'll never forget it. For seven more hours, the man who shattered their peace remained barricaded in that basement. When sheriff's deputies finally entered the home, they found him dead of apparent suicide. Now Natasha and her family are left to pick up the pieces. Glass was broken throughout the lower level and bullet holes filled the walls. There's going to be a lot of fixing and work. Hoping maybe one day Ramsey Road can be their safe place once more. Reporting in Albion, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. If you would like to help this family with their recovery expenses, we have a link to their GoFundMe online. Just head to the story up on channel3000.com. In Rock County, three people are dead and several are recovering from a three-vehicle crash. It happened Saturday in the town of Lima. Investigators say a van ran a stop sign on Highway 12 at East County Line Road. That van hit another van at the intersection. Then the two collided with a truck pulling a trailer. The impact threw two women and a man from the vehicles who died at the scene. The sheriff's office is investigating the crash. Right now, the entire state of Wisconsin is at some risk of fire danger. This morning, we're taking a look at the DNR's current fire situation. All of southern Wisconsin is under high fire danger. That's what you see in yellow. Much of the state is under very high fire danger. That's in orange. Only two counties in the state are under a moderate risk. None are at low risk. In light of this, the DNR is extending its precautions from the weekend asking you to avoid all outdoor burning. Yesterday, the DNR suspended burn permits in 41 counties. On Saturday, 37 fires burned more than 300 acres alone. That's the single most active wildfire day so far this year. Right now, the DNR says outdoor recreators should be extra careful with off-road vehicles or other equipment that has the potential to create sparks. Here are a few other specific safety tips from the DNR. Again, avoid all outdoor burning until fire danger conditions improve. If you're using any heavy equipment like lawnmowers or chainsaws, do that early in the morning or late in the day. You should also secure any dragging trailer chains and of course report any fires early on. You should call 911. To campaign coverage now, will Donald Trump and Joe Biden debate before November? Multiple media organizations want them to and have asked, but the president has not publicly committed to a debate. Hasn't ruled it out, though. Trump says that he'd debate Biden anytime, anywhere, though it's not clear just how possible that it could be given his uh, court, court schedule coming up before the election. In an open letter yesterday, media organizations said if there is one thing Americans can agree on during this polarizing time, it's that the stakes of this election are exceptionally high. Amidst that backdrop, there is simply no substitute for the candidates debating with each other. Well, this plea comes on the heels of brand new polling in the presidential race. The latest Times Siena poll shows Biden's nearly erased Trump's early polling advantage with registered voters. The two are neck and neck nationally. Trump has a slight lead of 46 over Biden's 45. That is within the margin of error of 3.3%. Still, some pretty good news for the Biden campaign compared to the last time Santa poll from late February, when Trump had a five-point lead over Biden. One of the issues the Biden campaign will be focused on this week, abortion. Women who had life-changing abortion law traumas will campaign for the president in Madison. Attorney General Josh Call has asked our Supreme Court to take up the issue of abortion. The procedure is legal here. A judge ruled so last year. But Sheboygan's district attorney appealed that ruling. So Call wants to bypass the appeals court and get a definitive answer as soon as possible. Well, abortion isn't just dominating the presidential campaign. Just last week, Republican U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hovde clarified his stance on the procedure. He says he believes women should have a choice early on, but not later in the pregnancy. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has backtracked his support for a national abortion ban. Here's what Wisconsin's Democratic Lieutenant Governor has to say about the shifting positions amongst Republicans. We had an 1849 abortion law here in Wisconsin that the Republicans fully supported, with no exceptions for rape or incest. And so regardless of how they're dancing around the issue right now, we know what they're going to do when they're in power. They are going to put out a national abortion ban. So we need to listen to what they're saying, see what they've done, and remember that this is going to be on the line this November. 
Eric Hovde will be on the Senate primary ballot this August. If he moves forward as expected, he will face off against incumbent Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin in November on the same ballot as the presidential race. And News Through Now will continue covering the 2024 campaign through the election. You can find all of that coverage on channel3000.com and stay updated with any new information with the free Channel 3000 mobile app. 639 still ahead. The questions that potential jurors will face is their screen for Trump's first criminal trial. And a little chilly this morning with the uh, clear skies, but another beautiful day on tap before some storms roll in tomorrow. We'll have the uh, first morning forecast coming up. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here, and I work for Copas and Bus part-time on the side. I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years, and the kids on it are great. Flexible hours, they work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your road. Colson treats you decent, you know, all the years I worked here. It's a great place to work. Get an 11% rebate on your entire roofing project at Menards. Owens Corning Architectural Shingles are designed to offer long-lasting performance while providing ultimate protection with up to 130 mile per hour wind rating and limited lifetime warranty. Choose from over 50 options designed to help protect your home for years to come. Save on your entire roofing project and get an 11% rebate on all Owens Corning Shingles right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Everyone wants to hire people who are ready to work and passionate about what they do. People that are ready for an opportunity, a job, a career. They just need you to believe in them. ThinkAbility Wisconsin, providing workforce support for people with disabilities and their employers. They're ready to work and shape the future. All you have to do is start with yes. Join the movement at thinkabilitywi.org. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. V value, A awesome value, L lots of value, you get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. The one and only Madison Lighting Spring Sale is here. Save on all lighting, every ceiling fan, mirror, and all home decor. Save 15% on everyday low prices. Hurry, it all ends Monday at Madison Lighting. This homestyle chicken salad wrap from Subway, this is how you do it. Savory chicken, crisp veggies, all wrapped up. These wraps are amazing. People can hear my thoughts. That's a problem. Stay fresh out there with all new wraps from Subway. Wednesday at 10, when a massive renovation project began at this Beloit affordable housing complex, some residents told me they were left out in the cold. She was saying how she's sleeping in her car, and I was like, that is ridiculous. Now, dozens more are speaking out about mismanagement and unlivable conditions. I'm hurt deep down inside because I didn't have any help. So I went back to the top for answers. What this management official told me they're doing to address the allegations. Don't miss my News 3 Now update Wednesday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Time is 6.42. Uh, today's top national headline, it's the start of Donald Trump's first criminal trial today. This isn't just a big deal for Trump's campaign. It's the first time in U.S. history a former, former president is in court as a criminal defendant. We're taking a live look at Manhattan this morning. Jury selection gets underway later this morning. The judge overseeing the trial will not allow prosecutors or Trump's lawyers to ask potential jurors which party they belong to, political party. But there are multiple questions aimed to root out people who are likely to be biased against or in favor of Donald Trump. Some of those questions include whether jurors have been part of anti-Trump groups, whether they are or have ever been members of QAnon, Proud Boys, or other far-right groups, and whether they've ever attended a rally or campaign event for Trump. Lawyers on each side will get a limited number of strikes that they can use to exclude potential jurors they don't like. It could take uh, weeks. It's going to take 
weeks. Uh, hundreds of people uh, have been identified as potential jurors, and they need to whittle those down to 12. Here's a review of what Trump is up against today. The former president is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records. That includes hiding an alleged hush money payment to a woman he had an affair with ahead of the 2016 election. Trump denies the affair with the former adult film star Stormy Daniels and has pled not guilty to those charges. Now to the Middle East, Israel is weighing how to respond to Iran's historic attack Saturday. In the latest escalation of tension in the region, Iran launched 350 drones and missiles over the weekend. Uh, Israeli officials said that the country's war cabinet ended its meeting without a decision on the size and scope of a response. Around the world, officials are asking the country to proceed with caution. The Middle East is on the brink. The people of the region are confronting a real danger of a devastating full-scale conflict. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. Now is the time for maximum restraint. Iran has said it does not plan on any further attacks and is warning the U.S. not to get involved. President Biden has reportedly told the Israeli Prime Minister he won't participate in a retaliatory strike on Iran. Time is 645. Kelly Slifka is outside with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. Just a really nice morning. It is a little bit chilly now, but I can already feel the temperatures are starting to climb a little bit here on the uh, patio as that sun is up and another nice day today. But we got to remember we're still under a, uh, some drought conditions, especially areas to the north, that brown shading up near the Dell, Sauk County, Richland County, Southern Adams and Juneau County into uh, uh, parts of Iowa County. So that's where you got to be really concerned uh, with any kind of fire danger. This time of the year, the uh, vegetation is still fairly dormant and it doesn't take much to uh, cause a fire. And that's why we have the uh, risk of fire out there uh, for today. And also that'll continue uh, tonight and also tomorrow. All right, we've got another beautiful day today. Maybe not the low 80s that we hit yesterday, but headed in the low 70s. We will have some storms roll in tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Some of these storms may pack a punk punch, maybe producing some large hail and damaging winds. I don't expect a widespread severe weather outbreak. I think that'll be mainly stained or south. We'll show you that coming up. We'll turn cooler by the end of the week. Right now, we'll look at temperatures in the 40s this morning, but rising through the mid-60s here at the noon hour, likely to hit the low 70s. Just some high, thin, cirrus clouds today. Just another beautiful a day for us after the beautiful weekend. Here's that storm system still taking shape across the Rockies. Now we're in advance of it, so we're gonna see a, a bit of a southerly flow and that'll bring in some warmer weather, but eventually that system's headed into the plains and bringing some severe weather. Today, the severe weather threat is off to our west across Nebraska into Kansas, that darker brown shading. That's kind of the bullseye where the severe weather threat is the greatest. And that will stay south of us into Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois. On a scale of one to five, that's three, but that yellow shading on a scale of one to five that's two reaching southern Wisconsin. The uh, slight risk of severe weather from Platteville over toward Monroe and even Janesville just south of Madison tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Right now we do have clear skies. 71 expected today. That's above our average of 57. The sun not setting now until 741. Boy, what a beautiful sunset. Thanks, uh, Deb, for sending this in from uh, Mauston. We'd like to see your photos as well. All right, we are looking at the uh, severe weather threat mainly tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night from Madison areas to the south. But all of us are expecting some pretty good rains uh, going forward with this system coming our way. Uh, some isolated pockets of hail or some damaging winds. And we'll track that for you as we go into the afternoon hours tomorrow. More likely the late afternoon hours, uh, that will be the better chance of seeing some of these storms rolling through. The, the uh, rush hour, the uh, dinner hour, expecting some of these storms rolling on in into the evening hours. You notice it's widespread across all of Wisconsin. Could get some heavy downpours, some beneficial rains where we showed you where that drought, uh, the severe drought is uh, continuing. Uh, looks like things will start to get better on Wednesday. Still can't rule out a few showers and then it will be turning cooler. 40 right now in Madison, 39 in Watertown, Janesville at 45, 40 in the Dells and across Dane County. It's 42 right now in Stoughton and also Cottage Grove. First warning forecast, 71 today. Enjoy the sun today because we'll have more cloud cover tomorrow and that first warning alert day because of the rain and the storms rolling in. Maybe a few lingering storms into Wednesday. Nothing severe. Then we start to see some cooler showers Thursday before temperatures uh, tail off a little bit below average going into the upcoming weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, this week here on News 3 Now, this morning we are giving away tickets to the Midwest Horse Fair. Every day this week, someone out there will win a four-pack of tickets to the fair. It's at the Alliant Energy Center from the 19th through the 21st. It's a ticket package valued at almost 600 bucks. 
To enter the giveaway for the 2024 Midwest Horse Fair, you can log on to channel3000.com slash contests. Coming up in the morning sprint, we have all of today's top headlines. Hey, if you have a little kiddo turning three soon, we'd love to help them celebrate by showing their picture on TV. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Check this out. The newest fantasy game from DraftKings. Just pick between two and six players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stat. They compete against others for cash prizes. It's that simple. Okay, let's try it. Do you want more Kevin Hart or less Kevin Hart now? No, don't answer that. Download the Pick 6 app today and score up to $200 back in Pick 6 credits if you don't win your first pick set. The crown is yours. What? Watch this. It's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes. And the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic, which car and driver calls fun to drive. There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. Habitat for Humanity of Dane County doesn't just build homes. We build financially strong families. Habitat homes financed through affordable mortgages allow hardworking families to break the cycle of poverty and invest in their futures. Your support changes lives. Please donate today. If you've been seriously injured in a car accident, watch out. Watch out. The insurance company is going to ask you to sign some papers. Don't do it. You may be entitled to money your insurance company isn't telling you about. Don't trust the insurance company after your accident. You could miss out on what you really deserve. Call Gruber Law Offices today. There's never a fee until we win your case. Gruber Law Offices watched out for me and settled my case for $2.5 million. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Call for action only on News 3 Now. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. Today, jury selection begins in the first criminal trial of former President Donald Trump. Trump is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records. That includes hiding an alleged hush money payment to a woman he had an affair with ahead of the 2016 election. Trump denies that affair and has pleaded not guilty to the charges. Narrowing down the selection to just 12 jurors is expected to take weeks. A uh, new Times Siena poll shows that President Biden and former President Donald Trump are nearly neck and neck now. Uh, Trump has 46 points compared to Biden's 45. That's well within the margin of error of 3.3 percent. Some good news for Biden cam Biden's campaign uh, because in February, the same poll had him behind Trump by five points. Israel is trying to figure out how to respond to an attack from Iran. The Islamic State launched drones and missiles at Israel on Saturday. The U.S. shot down some of those drones, but as of now, President Biden is reportedly telling Israel's leadership the U.S. does not plan on helping the country with a retaliatory response. No burning outside. That is the DNR's message to you this morning. Most of the state is under a high or very high fire danger. They're also warning against using heavy equipment, even lawnmowers or chainsaws during the afternoon. Anyone who sees a fire should report it as early as possible by calling 911. 
No one's hurt after a fire at Pizza Ranch in Verona. Check this out. This was at 5 o'clock Saturday night just off of East Verona Avenue. Smoke and flames shooting out of the roof. First responders were able to get the fire under control. The location will be closed until further notice. 38-year-old Maxwell Anderson is charged with killing and dismembering a 19-year-old in Milwaukee. Police in Milwaukee identified remains found in a park belonging to Sade Robinson. Robinson went missing on April 1st after going on a date with Anderson. He will be back in court next week. Three people are dead and several are injured after a three-vehicle crash. It happened Saturday in Lima. Investigators say that a van ran a stop sign on Highway 12 and East County Line Road. That van hit another van at the intersection, and those two collided with a truck pulling a trailer. The impact threw two women and a man from the vehicles who died at the scene. The sheriff is investigating. A 23-year-old Middleton man is facing charges for leading officers on a high-speed chase. Police started following a white BMW north on U.S. Highway 151 for speeding. The driver was going over 130 miles per hour and almost struck several cars. The chase continued just over 28 miles into Fond du Lac County. Police eventually stopped the driver. He is charged with recklessly endangering safety. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says it's looking into the recent recall of Ford Bronco and escape vehicles. The agency says that the cars could have cracked fuel injectors that can cause gas leaks and ignite engine fires. Nearly 43,000 SUVs made in 2022 and 23 are impacted. So far, no injuries have been reported by the NT NHTSA. Individual income tax returns are due today. If you don't file on time, you'll face a penalty of up to 25%. There are exceptions to the deadline, though. Those are for members of the armed forces, victims of certain disaster situations, and people working abroad. Certain people qualify for free filing. You can find that information on the IRS website. The WNBA draft is tonight. Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark are expected to go pretty high. You can watch the draft on ESPN, DirecTV, or Fubo. The draft officially starts at 6.30 our time. Festivities kick off at 6. All right, coming up on 7 o'clock, a little chilly yet this morning with the clear skies. The humidity is real low, but these temperatures should rise fairly quickly with the uh, sunshine should be in the mid to upper 60s here at the noon hour another beautiful afternoon maybe not the low 80s like we hit yesterday but still looking at some low 70s today so another beautiful day with winds out of the north a lot of sunshine today low 70s expected uh, but we do have some changes coming our way we've got a storm system moving in and moving across the plains that'll bring us some sh uh, showers and storms tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening some of these storms may become severe producing large hail and damaging winds we'll keep our eyes out on that all right now. kelly yeah looking like uh gotta get outside and enjoy this day before that rain yeah we need the rain yet so i guess that's good news all right yeah thanks for joining us folks we're back with another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes